calling all girls. And if you are the mother or grandmother of a young lady who loves American Girl dolls, you got to listen up. The historic James Blackstone Memorial Library is hosting a series of American Girl fashion shows, and they need local girls to play the parts of all of your favorites, like our producer's favorite, Molly, Kit, Josephina, and the newest American Girl, the Rebecca Rubin. And if that's not enough, all the proceeds of the fashion show benefit the library. And here to fill us in, please welcome to the show from the Blackstone Memorial Library, Jennifer Anaskovich and her daughter, Emmy. Welcome to the two of you. Thank you for being here. Well, thanks for having us. We're excited to be here with I all of our friends who we brought. Absolutely. You brought a lot of friends, Emmy. Yeah. Yeah. Jennifer, let's start with you because you're going to be talking about all the different fashion shows, four fashion shows that we are in store for, right? Right. Absolutely. We're so excited about this. Um, we're doing four fashion shows in October, okay. October 17th and 18th. That's a Saturday and a Sunday. And there'll be two shows each day. And the shows will feature all of the American Girl dolls and feature local girls who will be modeling in the show and each of the shows and the proceeds will benefit the James Blackstone Memorial Library and all of its reading programs for kids. And they do a lot. You do do a lot. Why the American Girl doll theme though? Well, you know, it was such a great fit for the Blackstone Library. The Blackstone Library was built in 1896 uh, by Timothy Blackstone in honor of his father, James Blackstone. It's a historic landmark. Um, and they have these just wonderful, wonderful reading programs for kids of all ages. And so when we started thinking about what would be a great tie-in, mm -hmm. we knew that the American Girl doll books are so popular and so many girls have learned so much about history from them that there was a perfect fit. What's interesting about these books, it's not just about the beautiful American Girl dolls. They really teach you a bit of history. Absolutely. I mean, anybody who read about Kit or saw the movie Kit Kit Ridge mm -hmm. knows that in the Great Depression, you know, everybody was required to really pull a little harder. And in Kit's family, they took in borders and they learned a lot about each other. And it's just, it's a great way to get a very personal insight into the girls' lives. Now, Emmy, what do you love so much about the American Girl dolls? Um, when I get bored, I can just grab one and pretend that I, I can play with them and pretend that they're my kids or, and use them with my friends and when I read the books um, I learn a lot about like when Kit was in the depression like my mom said and when like everything happens to the girls and like how they grow up and all that stuff. And you get to play with their hair like you're doing yeah. right <laughs> now which is really fun right? But you also learn even about that clothing that they used to wear, right? Yeah. I mean, you and I were talking about that. How awesome. It's really terrific, and it's one of the things that they'll be teaching us in the fashion show. We have a couple of teenage girls who will walk us through different eras and fashion of the time and talk a little bit about etiquette and clothing and the way young ladies acted and, and what they did to be part of society, and that's always a lot of fun to learn. Now, this is the first American Girl doll fashion show in Connecticut. It is the only American Girl Doll fashion show in Connecticut we this year. We're very excited. We're partnering with the American Girl Doll Company. And so we'll have models in the show that will include Kaya and Addie and Josefina and Julie and Ivy, who you are holding. I know. Ivy and, and I Molly. decided to match today. Lots of very exciting girls. Felicity. Um, and so American Girl Doll Company will be sending us all of the clothing that the models will wear and all of the wow. dolls that they will carry and lots of great prizes and goodies that the girls who come to the shows will take home. And let's talk about this because you are actually going to be unveiling the new dolls that right and what's really interesting about this folks it is the the first jewish american doll her name is rebecca and we actually have a picture so i'm going to hold that up if we can just to give you a sneak peek now is that right though jennifer we're going to be seeing her we are this is one of the very first fashion shows that rebecca rubin is going to be in and she is the new jewish american doll her parents were russian jewish immigrants and she moves to new york and she wants to get into the theater which was not an appropriate thing for a young girl to do back then and so despite her family's protestations, she jumps into it and becomes a young actress. So wow. it's a very exciting doll. And we're very excited that we have the Jewish Federation of Greater New Haven working with us, oh, as, awesome. as well as the Junior League of Greater New Haven and a bunch of other women's groups, Women and Family Life in Guilford, lots of groups that are helping so us. So the moms and the grandmothers, including our producer, who is like, I've got to get my girl involved. How many girls are you looking for? We're looking for about 25 girls per show, which is about 100 girls altogether. So we're going to cast four different casts. So for instance, we'll need four Mollies. Okay. And four Julies. So there's lots of opportunity. Um, we're also going to cast the Biddy Babies. And if you see on the table in front of you, we have two of the Biddy Babies here. Um, and so what we need is we need girls who are size 10 okay. for the American Girl clothes or a size 6X for the Biddy Baby clothes. Okay. 
Um, and our first casting call is coming up in just about a week and a half. Okay. On Saturday, July 25th at the James Blackstone Memorial Library in Brantford on Main Street from 1 to 3 p.m. All right. I do want to mention this, Jennifer. The reason why you're looking for the six sex in 10 is because that is the way the costumes are actually going to come into you. Exactly. Is that the right? The costumes will come into us in those sizes, so you must be one of those sizes to be able to model in the show. However, at intermission, we're going to offer a limited number of guest model slots, and you can be any size and wear any clothes you want to be oh. a guest model. You can come out on the runway, and our MCs will tell a little bit about where you go to school and what your interests are. And again, teenage girls are needed to MC, so that's really cool. If you've got a teenager, she can perhaps audition to be an MC? Absolutely. We're looking for girls who are juniors or seniors in high school who have drama experience. We'll need eight of them, two per show, okay. and they'll read from a script and they'll talk about their history with American Girl. And our very own News Channel 8's Jocelyn Amenta is your honorary chairperson. She is. We're very excited about that. And I don't know if you know this, but she has a daughter, Campbell, who we're yes. hoping will audition for the show as well, who's about Emmy's age. She will be a perfect fit, as are you, Miss Emmy. You are fabulous. Did you have a good time? Yeah. All right. Let's put the information on the screen for folks who want to actually come on out. Listen, the information, again, the casting call, we should say, for the American Girl Fashion Show is Saturday. It should be the 25th at the James Blackstone Library in Brantford. There's a $25 application fee, but all the proceeds, all the proceeds go to benefit the library's children's programs. Is that correct? That's absolutely correct. And that is what it's about. Emmy, thank you so very much for being here. You were fantastic. Thank you. You can breathe. <laughs> thank you so much, Jennifer, so for being here. We appreciate it.